OK, let's get more now on the breaking news that Israel has begun what it described as a limited, localised and targeted ground operation against Hezbollah in southern Lebanon. Uh, with me in the studio is uh, Mohammed Taha from BBC Arabic. Uh, Mohammed, first off, I, I just want to go back. We've heard from some of our guests uh, describing the Litani River and the UN resolution. Now, it's all about the Litani River and this blue line, this unofficial border. Can you just describe to us why that structure was put in place? Of course, the UN tried to, to make sure that this area below southern the Litani River is, uh, is, uh, has less uh, military presence or no military presence at all. This, this area is 30 kilometers uh, northern Israel, and Israel really believes that this area should be, uh, uh, should be re uh, Hezbollah should be completely removed from this area. We can see uh, on the map now that the Litani River uh, uh, there, and this is Lebanon, and there, is, there are 30 kilometers, and this is the aim that uh, uh, the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was clear that he wants to achieve. What I want to highlight, if you don't mind, that that uh, we kept say, uh, listening about the Hezbollah capabilities. What I want to emphasize that Hezbollah capabilities or Hezbollah in 2006 is not Hezbollah of today for two reasons. The, uh, the first uh, uh, reasons regarding to Hezbollah itself and reasons regarding Israel. Israel is using technology. We saw the pager explosions, the walkie-talkie explosions using the BLU-109 uh, bomb against the uh, uh, Nasrallah leaders and the massive penetration within Hezbollah. We saw the, the, the series of killing of leaders like uh, uh, Fuad Shoker, uh, Ibrahim Aqil, Muhammad Surur, and all of these people, uh, all at once. Uh, so the intelligence from Israel and on the other side, uh, Hezbollah, we can see that they are not responding as they were responding in 2006 in, in sense of power. Some analysts are saying because they were involved uh, in the recent year in the fighting in Syria and that affected them. OK, so some analysts are also saying, yes, Israel, come onto our land. Because many people are saying that once Israel are on the ground in Lebanon, the upper hand will revert to, to Hezbollah and the arms ca capabilities that they do have. My quick question to you is, one, can they replenish those arms? We know or we, we understand that Iran may be involved in supplying Hezbollah uh, with those. But also, what is it like on the ground in Lebanon? What would ground trooping fighting be like. This is why Israel announced that they have limited incursion into, into Lebanon. Israel are not sure about what's going to happen because in 2006, yes, the resistance were, were, really, uh, were really strong. They had the Cornet missiles, they had anti-armored uh, missiles, they managed to, uh, to uh, attack many tanks, uh, in, in particular in Wadi al-Hijr, and they are really careful in their, in their, incurg in, in their incursion. They do not know to what extent Hezbollah will be working uh, in, in, in the cities in southern Lebanon at the moment. And we, and really, that, that's why we are rolling this news to see yeah. to what extent Hezbollah will be fighting uh, on the ground and resisting on the ground. Mohammed Taha, as ever, thank you very much indeed. So let us just show you uh, those live pictures in Beirut from where our uh, breaking, developing story is uh, coming to us from as Israel begins, begins its limited, as it describes it, limited incursion into southern Lebanon. Stay with us. There's more coming up here on BBC News.